Hi parents, this is the third grade team. I'm Mrs. Goebel. And I'm Mrs. Gary. And we are here to talk to you a little bit about how we'll be communicating this with you this year in third grade on Power School. Let me share our screen here. Okay, what you're gonna be seeing in front of you is um, Mrs. Goebel's Power School learning page and Mrs. Geary will have a similar one, but we wanted to talk through what you'll find on this page and why it's important to log in here. So first you'll see on the welcome tab and um, this will just go through a calendar of what's happening in third grade and how we'll use the Power School. Then you can click on our classroom and links and here you will be directed to, oops, this is a, about me, <laughs> um, you'll be directed to links that we'll be using if, if we would be home again, like Zoom, Zoom, Seesaw, Prodigy, Spelling City, and if you would like to make a book order. Then we have the next about this one. Yep. All right, then our next tab is all about um, the different ways we use classroom management in our room. There's a picture of Mrs. Goebel's goal setting chart, um, and then mine shows a picture of the our clip chart and how we um, deal with behaviors in our classrooms. The next tab is homework. our homework tab, and this one goes through what homework looks like in the third grade. Um, third grade homework consists of reading and spelling practice each night, as well as a spiral math review done in their Simple Solutions book. Uh, we send those home Monday through Thursday. We expect homework to be done on those nights, but not on the weekends, not on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Um, every Monday, a spelling list comes home. Your student will know if they're on list A or B. And then we encourage you to practice each night and do probably 15 to 20 minutes of reading, as well as one page in the Simple Solutions book. Yep, so you can read more about our homework plan there. Each of our pages will have a place for the class roster if you would ever want um, the classmates names. Um, the birthday tab talks about when your student is celebrating their birthday, um, some ideas of safe treats to bring this year with our COVID restrictions and to please keep items from home at home. And then um, each of our pages will have a daily schedule posted so you can see what times your student is in math, reading, grammar, religion, and the various subjects in third grade. Um, and then lastly, there is a tab that will be called newsletters and weekly plans. And this one you will be um, accessing on a weekly basis mm -hmm. as we will be um, uploading our classroom newsletters and what we're learning each week in class. Under these tabs, you can see that they are organized by the month. So for now, you'll want to click August. And under August, you'll see the three weeks that we're in school for August. Now there aren't newsletters for the next two, the last two weeks in August because those haven't happened yet. But if you check in each Friday, Thursday or Friday, um, a weekly newsletter will be posted on um, the things we're learning. In the chance, hopefully it doesn't happen, but you know it did last year that we go remote learning. This is also the tab where we will post a weekly schedule ma matrix. Of what of what core classes assignments will be, as well as what two lessons being taught by Mrs. Goble and myself, um, that should help you at home, especially when you figure out like our Voyage Grammar pages can be pretty interesting. We found out last thing for parents, so that will also be here if needed. We are otherwise. Yeah, and um, if we would go home learning, you'll get more information about that, so we won't spend too much time on it. Um, and then over in the left or the right hand side, you'll see a link to Power School, which is the Power Learning. So Power Learning is what we're looking at right now, and it's basically just like a website of information about our classroom. 
Whereas Power School is where in third grade you gain access to your child's grades. So you can see the assignments they're turning in and how they're scored. And um, that is a way for you to keep track of that. So that link is in our Power School learning page if you would like to access it. And the way Ms. and I do it is we collect assignments. Um, what you will see first in Power School will be check marks, which is where we've indicated whose assignment we have and a blank means we haven't received that from the student yet. They're still finishing it. And then those will turn over to grades uh, so that you can look at those and look at their averages as we go. Yeah, and they'll, they'll probably update it about every other week. Yeah. Um, so don't expect them to be there. And, and classes like religion and studies, it can be even more than that. There are many daily assignments and there are a bunch of longer projects. So those may not have anything new in them every two weeks. Don't panic. <laughs> um, outside of that, we are very excited to have your kids back in school. And it's been such a great few days seeing the excitement they have for learning and just being together with their friends and all the fun things that we have in store for them this year. So if you have questions about power school learning, how to get logged in, or to find information, please feel free to email either one of us while you're whatever class your child is in, <laughs> um, and we will help get that information to you. But we look forward to teaming up with you and working as a team to help your child this year. So thank you.